Houston is space city. Going back to 1969 when Apollo 11 launched and landed on the moon, you always heard the word Houston. Spaceport as a typology derives from imagination before technological advancement. It derives from Jules Verne, 1867, when he wrote From the Earth to the Moon. Today, these spaceports present a typology that is quite literally on the frontier of urbanization. We've got the infrastructure like no other city. Uh, we've got NASA, Johnson Space Center, the universities, all of these uh, organizations and corporations involved in aerospace, all of which come together to make a superb mix of infrastructure and assets. This is a transition from the traditional governmental-led space program to a commercially driven space program. How do we integrate commercial space into the national airspace system? So a big part of our safety record is all about communication. And what they've enabled here at Ellington was building that information structure so that when the spaceport grows and evolves over time, that they've got the right communication capabilities in place to make sure that it's a safe system. Spaceports have historically been located in remote places on the globe. Safety, regulations, and the like. Spaceports are now situating themselves within an urban setting, particularly with Ellington here in Houston. We're here to address the connectivity, spaceport to airport connectivity, spaceport to regional spaceport connectivity. Do we have to build a whole new infrastructure intensive capability of light rail or, or in combination with the metro station? Or can we leapfrog it and do something disruptive? We have to let go of predetermined biases of what a spaceport should look like or that if it should operate similar to an airport. If you're going into space, you've got to have procedures for how aircraft or spacecraft travel from their hangars, get fuel, oxidizer, and then you have to have a clear zone for these spacecrafts to leave. When a spacecraft returns, there are going to be procedures for how that aircraft has to be handled. All of those problems have to be solved, and Ellington could be the place where that happens. What we're really looking to do is to create an environment where universities and corporations can produce cutting-edge ideas, new materials, new mathematics, uh, new physics that you can employ in order to solve these problems. I was a quarter century at NASA, Johnson Space Center, and Kennedy Space Center, and when I jumped to private industry to form my own company, I decided I wanted to be an advocate for the Houston Spaceport. I can work at a spaceport where I can actually do design, manufacturing, engine testing, new techniques and new technology solutions in a technical workspace. It's not so much the air side, it's the land side, which is the development of the research park, technology park, education, culture, events, manufacturing, training. This is more of a spaceport to a knowledge port, a platform to allow new inventions within these industries to take place organically, creating environments for collaboration and for risk taking. Sometimes innovation happens when R&D cross-pollinates with industries that are completely unlikely. It's an R&D model first, then an economic development model second, with the payoff coming once this, this spaceport really starts to hum. Space can be explored with any discipline. The spaceport has to have access to high caliber of talent, from cooks to engineers to poets to artists as well. It means jobs and it means great opportunities for the next generation to come to Houston and participate in this exciting industry. I want to develop additive manufacturing techniques that produce parts that no human being can imagine yet through the use of generative design techniques and generative design algorithms. I want to accomplish all that right here at Spaceport Houston and I think it feeds to the next industries that are going to emerge out of these latest technology boom that we're having. From the Houston Ship Channel to the Johnson Space Center to the Astrodome even, you know, Houston is about big moves and big ideas. In 20 years, I see a spaceport terminal 
with passengers actually going to the edge of space. Companies locating here that want to do research in space. And the new industries and new opportunities that we haven't even thought about yet that all can incubate here and we can all be proud in the future to say it all started in Houston.